people have spent generations building up this city for it to be destroyed by thugs. This is lawless gangs of thugs roaming the streets, causing damage uh, to property and, and injuring innocent people. You've got some of the same organizers now going back into these communities to try to clean up in the aftermath of a handful of protests, uh, a handful of uh, criminals uh, and thugs who, uh, who tore up the place. I, I, you know, I, I, funny, I didn't know we had a racist president and a racist mayor of, uh, of uh, Baltimore who are both black. Sure, uh, welcome to Give Me Five. Soledad O'Brien, who I've always thought had a problem with race. I mean, I could document things over the years when she was at CNN. Now she's uh, got her own production company, and she does documentaries like Being Black and all about being black and over and over. Same topic, same theme. Uh, and she doesn't like the word thug. Watch. I, I think what uh, the Baltimore City Councilman uh, Carl Stokes was trying to tell Erin Burnett is that uh, thug is a proxy, is a word that we use instead of the N-word. And I think that's really true. I, I can't think of a... A situation where there's ever been a headline or someone has called a, uh, a white young person who's in the middle of a violent protest demonstration whatever a thug we use it all the time when we're talking about people in the inner city okay so the president called these people thugs because he wanted to call them the n-word the black mayor of Baltimore called these people thugs because she wanted to call these people the N-word. I mean, that's what Soledad O'Brien is saying. And if she's saying that, that, you know, that this is the generally accepted use of the word, then she can't make an exception for Obama and the mayor, okay? This is such nonsense, it's such garbage. And here she actually, I think, in this cut, gets challenged just a little bit by the, the fill-in hosts of reliable, reliable Sources, who uh, you all know, he's, he, he was around for many years. Here we go. San Francisco Giants World Series marred by violence. The word thug doesn't come up at all, by the way, but they're talking about baseball fans um, far, marred by shootings and fires and arrests. Uh, Ohio State football revelers, mostly white, by the way, this is back in January, uh, screaming in delight, set nearly 90 fires, tear down a goal post, blah, 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 blah. We never describe them as thugs in but that But so that I, I looked the word up in a bunch of different dictionaries, and no place did I find a racial connection. No, no, and obviously, and, right? And, but, but, and, but and, and the, the African-American mayor of the city and the African-American president of the United States used the word. Doesn't so if necessarily it's the equivalent mean, of the N-word, how does that work? Right, well, doesn't necessarily mean that they don't have a specific agenda and how they're using it. I don't know what that means. Does that mean they're also using it as the N-word, or they're using it as not the N-word? I, 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 I don't know. This is just a made-up garbage topic. You want to address problems, Soledad, that affect the black community? There's a laundry list. This is nothing. This is not even at the bottom of the laundry list. This got washed off the list in the laundry. How's that? Why is more? And journalists should strive to use words that describe accurately what's happening. So, for example, so, so what are the so what are the words journalists should be using to describe uh, the people who are out on the streets doing this kind of thing? It is lawless activity that they were seeing, right? Well, it, or are you, we're not we're not trying to do to to um, excuse it in the process? Oh gosh, not at all. I mean, I literally think you should use words very specifically. So I think you say these are protesters who are now throwing cement blocks at blah blah blah. These are people who are now doing this. Look at this picture. That group right there is doing this. What, uh, what is going on here? Oh, these are protesters who are now burning and looting. These are pro she doesn't even like the word rioters more. I think there's violent protesters. I think there's peaceful protesters. I think there's drunk protesters. I think there's angry protesters. I think when you look specifically about how the word riot is used and the word thug is used, it's always used around people of color, specifically in an inner city context. And again, I can't tell you how the black mayor does it or the president of the United States chooses to use the word. I can only comment on how I think journalists should think about a word that actually doesn't have a lot of nuance and isn't specific, but somehow seems seems to be used a lot when you're talking about African Americans. So me personally, I wouldn't call someone a thug. I think it's not a descriptive term. Oh yes it is. It's a descriptive term for thugs.